Hello Cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. Now, before we get started, if you are not already a subscriber to our channel, I would love it if you could click that subscribe button below me and then the little bell next to it and select how often you'd like to be notified of new videos on our channel or when we go live. It doesn't cost you anything. It only takes a second and it means that you can relax because we'll notify you as soon as we have something new and then you can be amongst the first in the world to watch. Now, guys, we're 10 days away from Christmas. Wowzers, that's gone fast, hasn't it? So I'm wondering, are you ready? Or are you stressing about what should be actually a peaceful and joyous day for us all? I know that so many of you are worried about rising food costs and wondering how you are going to celebrate with a delicious Christmas dinner without going broke, without spending a lot more than you had planned to spend. Well, I think of Christmas dinner like this. It's just one meal on one day of the year. And yet, if we let it, this one meal on this one day of the year can cost us the equivalent of a week's grocery budget. Now, don't get me wrong, I love, I love Christmas. And I love Christmas Day and having the whole family together and I enjoy um, Christmas dinner and all the preparations and the excitement and the planning and plotting. I love it. I just don't think that, you know, Christmas dinner has to be hideously expensive. You know, I've seen an ad on TV, you know, $35 for two lobs of tails? Well, no, thank you. That is a stupid amount of money to pay, even for lobs of tails, and especially if you are feeding a few people. Now, having strong English and Scottish roots in our family, we tend to enjoy a traditional hot roast for Christmas dinner, despite the fact that it can be a blazing 40 degrees in the shade. Now, I've done the sums again, and I've walked the supermarkets, and I've checked the prices, and, you know, this year our Christmas dinner will come in at under $50 again. And that will include some treats and the nibblies. Now, we'll be having a roast chicken with gravy, um, glazed ham for those that want it, We'll do roasted potatoes and sweet potato, cauliflower and cheese sauce is a must, um, honey carrots and peas. That's pretty much our traditional Christmas dinner menu. I bought the chickens a while back when they were on sale for $2.99 a kilo. I put them in the freezer. Now, that's just another way of being a preparer can save you money. Because remember, I'm a preparer, not a prepper. And for dessert, we're going to have ice cream Christmas pudding, and it's my own easy version. The recipe is on our website, and I'll put a link to those recipes underneath me. Um, a steamed Christmas pudding with custard and cream. And my Auntie Hazel always brings the pav. Now, if you want to see beautifully decorated pavs, you need to see Auntie Hazel's pavs because she makes the most amazing pavlovas. And they are decorated so beautifully that all these guys that go on TV and decorate them need to take lessons from her. They are so pretty, it's almost a shame to cut into them. And I can almost hear our archeries hardening as I'm speaking. And we'll have bowls of lollies and, of course, our traditional scorched almonds, which I also bought a couple of months ago when they first appeared in Aldi for $5 a jar because they were bigger jars than... The Cadbury one's on half price at Coles. I'll make a couple of dips and we'll have carrot and celery sticks. And, of course, we have our traditional shakes, the barbecue, chicken crimpy, savoury, 
shapes are sort of a Christmas tradition for us. So when they're half price close to Christmas, I buy them and put them away. And chisels, because they're my secret, they're my secret um, vice. And of course, for afternoon tea, which we actually include as part of our Christmas dinner, we seem to eat all day on Christmas Day, we'll have Christmas cake that's already made and royal puddings. Because it's just not Christmas without royal puddings. Now, I posted a link to the recipe and instructions over on Cheapskates Chatter. So if you are on our Facebook group, Cheapskates Chatter, you can find it over there. Otherwise, head to our website, Cheapskates Club, and find it there. Now, since Alan stopped making the spearmint leaves, they have been hard to find. But Kmart sell them as a part of their party lolly range. And last year I found them in a $2 shop. So if Kmart is out when I do the last of the shopping this weekend, I'll hit the $2 shop and see if I can get some there. So if you're thinking that our Christmas dinner is just a standard roast and dessert, you're absolutely right. It is. You might think it's nothing special, but what makes it special is the way we set the table and the way we serve it. And, of course, by sharing it with the family and friends that are around the table. I use my best dishes and linen, including my favourite tablecloths. And I have real linen napkins to set the table. And I decorate it with a small musical Christmas tree centrepiece that we've had for a gazillion years, since the children were little. But it only comes out for Christmas. And we've had bonbons and candles on the table. I set every place with a crystal wine glass, including the little leaves. Now, they love it. I know our kids did when they were little. And, you know, not one glass has been broken in all the years that we've hosted Christmas dinner. It's special because we're eating with people we love. The table's beautiful. We have food that we all like. And best of all, we've spent less than Christmas dinner for one at a restaurant for the entire family get together. Now I've heard horror stories of Christmas dinner costing $150 a head at some res restaurants. $150. Now with the menu being so simple and familiar, there's no stress. All the ingredients are regulars on the shopping list. They're in the pantry, they're in the stockpile and they're all things that I often make. This one meal on this one day of the year will be special. It will be extravagant. It will be delicious. And it will be stress-free. So if Christmas dinner is already stressing you out, remember it's just one meal on one day of the year and plan accordingly. Yes, you want it to be nice, you want it to be special but this one meal on this one day of the year shouldn't put you into a nervous collapse and it absolutely shouldn't break your grocery budget either think about where you're going to be eating will you be at home will you be at another home will you be traveling or camping or perhaps going for a picnic at the beach. Then think about who will be eating that meal. Just your immediate family? Will you be sharing it with extended family and friends? Will there be mostly older people or lots of children and babies? Or will there be a good mix of everyone? Then think about what you would like to have for Christmas dinner. Now, turkey and roast vegetables with gravy may be traditional, but you can make your own tradition and you can have something that appeals to you and your family. Now, we always have a roast for Christmas dinner, but we don't like turkey, so it's chicken. It's potatoes, sweet potato, onion, cauliflower and cheese sauce, um, carrots, and I usually do honey carrots just to make them special, and peas and gravy because you've got to have lots and lots of gravy 
good gravy and I have instructions on how to make good gravy on our website too. And for dessert we have Christmas pudding, the steamed and the ice cream versions with custard, ice cream, pavlova. Think about these things because they're the things that will decide your Christmas dinner menu for you. You don't need to buy extravagant food and drink and you don't need to buy lots of things you don't really like but spend on because it's traditional to have them for Christmas and then throw them out the day after Boxing Day. Make Christmas dinner what you like and get everyone to help. If you're hosting, get everyone to bring something to contribute. It spreads the workload and it spreads the cost. Make up your meal plan then allocate everyone something to bring and let them know what it needs to be and roughly how much they need to bring. If you're only catering for six, they don't need to bring enough for 12. If you have children, get them involved and let them sit and decorate the table. It makes it special. The table doesn't have to be vogue living worthy. It has to be worthy of your family. So if the knives aren't perfectly straight and the serviettes aren't folded exactly right, don't worry. It's still beautiful. Enjoy the table as the kidlets set it. Eat the delicious meal you've prepared and have a wonderful, joyous Christmas dinner. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. I really appreciate it. Feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to know what you have for Christmas dinner if you'd like to share it and perhaps whether it's traditional or totally non-traditional, I'd love to know. I read every comment and I do my best to answer any questions you may have. And if you wouldn't mind, there are three simple things you can do. Like by clicking that thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and share this video to help our channel grow and be um, recognized more easily and of course the easier it is to find us the easier it is for us to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt free cashed up and laughing and to have an absolutely amazing Christmas dinner on a cheapskates budget but it can still be done, even in today's crazy world. I'll be back very soon with another Cheapskates Club video to show you how to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. But until then, happy cheapskating and Merry Christmas, everyone.